Well, I thought the last half of the second set we got outplayed, him. and uh, it seemed like it was a little bit more of an important uh, uh, situation for Arkansas State than it was for us. And uh, we needed to refocus on, especially defensively. And we did a better job uh, blocking, especially. I, I don't think our big game was great all day, but we did block more balls and kept their hitting percentage down, which is what we needed to do to gain some momentum. And we effectively did that in sets three and four. Now, in close games like that, how big do service errors and communication errors play in? Uh, it's big. And, and, you know, we had a couple of late uh, service errors. Uh, and even if that's not your primary role, if that's what you're forced into because of the substitution situation, you've got to be able to wait, make a way to, to put a ball in and help your team. But uh, ultimately, I thought after the second set, uh, we settled in much better and played the way one play. What do you what do you anticipate and how does this help you moving into next week? Well we uh, you know we, we think we made some progress. Today was a little bit uneven sometimes, but it's expected after a, a high level match last night, but it's not acceptable to uh, to just hang your hat on that and say, Well that's gonna happen. You gotta find ways uh, to get through that and we did. Uh, but it took a little longer maybe than that week. Second set, um, same feel as last night, thrown out of substitutions, yeah. as match yeah. extended. Yeah, match extended, and um, you know, Sarah did a great job with her first serve. Uh, her second one's a little bit deep, and then, uh, you know, Kathy just uh, needs to respond better in that situation. But we had some opportunities to get some stops, and we didn't, so uh, we continued to learn okay. from that. And uh, uh, it didn't work out as well as we hoped this time, but if we're putting that situation again, obviously, it's hopefully going to be managed before. Uh, first time all year for Jayhawks uh, with double digit kills. Also, after no blocks in the second set, third and fourth set, uh, seemed to be dominating blocking at the net. Talk a little bit about those aspects. Just made a few adjustments with where our pin player was setting up on the block. You know, Middles did a good job of closing. Um, and, you know, we talked about that in the game plan early on, but didn't execute it like we needed to and respond to that a lot better in games uh, three and four. How about the Clinton as an outside hitter hitting 400 for an entire invitation for the weekend? That's uh, that's a really good number because uh, you know sometimes you see middles hit at that level, but for an outside to hit at that number is uh, that's a great number, and uh, that's what we need from our left side. You know, Kathy was a little bit in and out today with her percentages, but they held up real well this weekend, so it's proud. Uh, Jarma, two different career highs, which ties it twice in a row. And then she gets MVP on this. Can talk a little bit about her weekend? Yeah, I mean, offensively, just people had a hard time, you know, having an answer for her. Uh, and then she picked it up a little bit defensively, blocking wise, too. So at times her serve created opportunities for us. So she, was, she gave a well rounded effort this weekend. And it was fun because mom, mom was here and sister surprised her. So I know that was a pretty neat moment for that family to see all that go down. What about the atmosphere? A big crowd, a thousand plus here on a football weekend. A really good atmosphere. I'm jacked about this. I can't wait to get to Memorial Stadium and see Coach Wise and his group go. So I'm glad we can end it uh, on a good note. But yeah, it's great to see Jayhawk Nation out here. Love our band right now. Uh, they really get after it. I know they had double duty today, but uh, if we continue to play at a high level, I think it's a good uh, entertainment value for team, uh, people to come by and watch the Jayhawks play. Oh, just. It's great playing at home, and I just get a lot of energy when we're at home, and I was just working on all facets of my game, you know, defense and offense, because, you know, sometimes I have good offensive days and sometimes good defensive days, so I try, like, to work at both and just get my feet and work hard. Offensively, uh, four Jayhawks <laughs> with 10-plus kills. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, the huge thing was just to drive aggressively. That was a big mentality we had, and... We didn't want to be tipping and giving the other side an opportunity to, you know, pass the ball up and hit it back at us. So we uh, we wanted to be very terminal when we were going up and swinging. Uh, second set could have completely changed the match. Arkansas State yeah. could have taken that momentum and ran with it. Instead, you guys come out win 25-15, 25-17. Uh, how are you able to squash State's momentum? Uh, well, when we went into the locker room, it's just a huge... Um, time for us to like organize as a team and just help each other out you know we we're really good at not like barking at each other for errors we're just really good at like giving positive feedback and uh individually saying how we can help and make adjustments and just going out with energy and knowing that this is our home court and we own it well, how does this help you going into next week uh i mean it helps a lot like we're confident on our court and the atmosphere is great and we just know that 
we are a physical team that can end games, and we just need to have that confidence when we're <coughs> whoever we're playing in whichever setting.